Hello and welcome to a new video about networks. We're talking about Ethernet here and today we are going to talk about the Ethernet frame. At least the usual frame which is used nowadays. We are not going to history. Uh, the usual frame is the IEEE 802.3 decked Mac frame. And I want to show you how this looks. Uh, so frame is a bunch of octets, a bunch of bytes, yeah? and we have a lot of them in there. So I will try to cover this. This should be the data stream. Hope it's long enough, because there are still some, some things which are inside there. It starts with the so-called preamble. Yeah? It's seven bytes so one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven yeah? this is how a frame is starting this is a little preamble and it looks always the same way every byte has the has the, the order one zero one zero one zero one zero. Okay? Seven times. This bit. This is you know it has more historical reasons. Yeah? This is just nowadays we don't need this anymore. But in former days when there was not uh on the whole time, yeah. Then all the elements need to notice, aha, uh -huh, there is something, something is going to start. And so, this was the, and then we, we could synchronize to the text, uh, and then we are, we can talk to each other. First, we need to synchronize, and this 01010101010, this was for synchronizing reasons. Nowadays, it's, just in there for uh, compatibility reasons. Huh? We don't need it anymore. And we also don't need the so called start frame delimiter, SFD, start frame. Delimiter. This is, say, okay, now we're synchronized, now we start. And this looks like that, yeah? One, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, one, or two. <coughs> now we beat, now we need to have attention, yeah? One byte. Only one byte, one octet, that's it, yeah? Then there is the uh, destination MAC address. Yeah? MAC address consists of, of six bytes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the destination. This is the address of the member or the number of the member yeah, which uh, is this packet goes to right so this is the destination mac address and then like on an envelope we also have a source address okay so one two three four five six one two three four five six that's the source Mac. Everybody knows from where it's coming. Yeah. Mac address usually looks like that. We note it somewhat like that 08 double point one seven double point F eight double point. I always say double point because it's doppelpunkt in German, but in English it's colon. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. This is a typical notation of a MAC address. And exactly this is, this is, uh, the content of the octets in hexadecimal numbers. Yeah? So zero eight would be three zeros and then eight one zero zero zero. One zero 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 one seven zero one one one. And so on. Now this is would mean inside that. So every everything is one octet, one eight eight bit mass pattern. And then we have something optional. Actually, this optional is the flandic two, three, four. Uh, VLAN deck. Uh, virtual LAN deck. Yeah. It must not be there. Yeah. To indicate that it's there, the first two are always one, two, three, four bit byte. Uh, four of that. And the first one and two always eight one zero zero hexadecimal. That's indicating, okay, it is is flambic. Okay. And three and four. I call TCI. Yeah. We have in here three bit of priority. Class of service it's called. Zero is the lowest, and the three bits I can go up to seven. Yeah, the highest priority. Then we have one bit drop eligible indicator. This indicates if this, if this, in terms of if there is a congestion somewhere, if this might might be dropped. Okay, and then we have 12 bit virtual LAN identifier. This is what is inside there. Yeah? Must not be there, that's optional. And to indicate that it's there, it starts with 8100. Right? If it's not there, then Immediately after, after the source MAC address would be already the ether type field. Which color I don't have used up to now? Red. Yes, red. Ether type. One, two. Ether type. This used to be, this used to be uh no a length field yeah either type used to be a length field maximum length is one thousand five hundred bytes Numbers higher than zero x zero six zero zero hexadecimal. Yeah, what is one thousand five hundred thirty six in decimal? Yeah, marks a protocol indicator. So here is marked what protocol is inside our packet. What upper level protocol? This is lower level. Uh, and what upper layer protocol is there? So there is, for instance, 0x0800. This would be Internet Protocol version 4, IP4, uh, V4, uh, or 080806. This would be Address Resolution Protocol, ARP Address Resolution. Or 
also you have heard for sure this this would be Wake and Learn. And so on. There are more. Right? There are more. So in here is written which type of protocol we have. And now, now we are payload. Yeah? Payload. This might be 46. If the VLAN deck is there, it's only 42. Yeah? Up to 1500 octets. That's the payload length. Yeah? If there is not enough payload there, yeah? so if you don't, if you don't want to send 42 or 46 bytes, you have to fill this. Yeah? You have to fill it. So there is then padding bytes. If too short, uh, then you have to fill it up to a minimum length. And then, then, in the end, then there is the, the frame check sequence. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is the frame check sequence. Frame check sequence. Frame check sequence. It's a 32 bit CRC value. Cyclic return density check. Actually, Actually, it's uh, you do a calculation with the content of the of the frame. So, what is the content of the frame? The content of the frame starting here after the source frame delimiter here and going up to here. Yeah, that's the CRC area. CRC. You take the content of this, yeah, calculate a value, add this value to the frame, yeah, and if we are receiving this, we do the same calculation, check if we get to the same result. If we are at the same result, everything is fine. Yeah. Then I assume I have uh, received correctly. If I'm not receiving the same result, it's not that fine. Then I have to drop it and cannot. Say okay, I've I've reached it. Yeah, reached it. CRC bells. It's <sighs> the CRC is also inside there reverse. Okay, every other byte in there is sent as it is. Most significant bit, pop, 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 as you would imagine, you send it. The the FCS, the frame check sequence, is rotated. This is because of the implementation of the CRC. The CRC is usually a shift register where you shift the whole data stream through. And if you shift the whole data stream through plus the frame check sequence, then you reach a certain, if you have everything is correct and fits together, then you reach a certain number, yeah, so called magic number. And if you have, if you can read this in the shift register, this magic number, you're sure everything is fine. This is why this is already um, broadcasted in reverse order than all others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for us, this should be sufficient. For us, this should be sufficient. You can look in deeper, yeah, but we are not experts. Networking experts, we are mechanical engineers, but we should know how such frame look like to have an, an understanding. And this is what is inside there. Right? This I wanted to show you. So that's Ethernet, huh? I will have a look. Maybe I can show you 
uh, what such frames in, in the real world. Uh, so on my computer. Uh, however, next topic we are for sure talking about is Wi-Fi, wireless local area network, WLAN or WLAN in German it's called. Uh, how does it differ? How is this working? Uh, next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.